the Court of Arbitration of Sport ruling, I, I'll get to that in a minute, but I did my PhD in statistics. So I know a lot about objective probability. I know as much as you about subjective probability. But when I looked at the CAS ruling and tried to add up what I thought were the probabilities, I could get to not more than 20%. And yet the CAS ruling said something above what I interpreted as comfortable satisfaction meant really in the 60 to plus percent range. That's how far they were below proving what to a independent observer, and I, I, I completely took off my affiliations to the red and black. I think it was no more than 20%, if, if that. That's how much below they are what they said they were. And why is it that they were so far? Why can I say that? Well, there were no athlete submissions. There was no credible testimony because the testimony from Alavi and Charter and others was almost completely discredited. There was no reliable documentary evidence or analytical data from either an A or a B sample. The only evidence they had were text messages. Text messages, they relied completely on text messages and associating TB4 with the word recovery. And that's how they built their case. 